everyone. I am Shruti from final year ECE. I am Satvika from final year ECE. I am Shreeja from final year ECE. Our project title is Women Safety Night Surveillance Robot. We sincerely thank our guide, Dr. K. Umapati Sir, Associate Professor in the Department of ECE, SCSPMA University, Kanchipuram. Now let's get into the hardware components and working of the project. Hello everyone, this is our project, Women Safety Night Surveillance Robot. The main aim and objective of this project is to ensure women safety. The components used in this project are Raspberry Pi, IR sensor, sound sensor, buzzer, web camera, battery, robotic platform and we have a motor driver and a pair of DC motors. Coming to the specification of the components, uh, here we are using a microcontroller Raspberry Pi 3 model B which has 40 digital input and output pins and 4 USB ports to connect the web camera uh, and mouse, keyboard and other connections we need and we have an ethernet port and HDMI port uh, and a power supply. We are using IR sensor for detecting the obstacle in the path and we, we are using the model LM393. When there is an obstacle in the path, uh, we get a blink here and the robot take the devia gets deviated from its predefined path. We have a sound sensor of model LM358. When we detect a sound from the surroundings, uh, we get a blink here. We get a buzzer sound. This is the alert uh, which gives the alert to the default email ID which we set in the code. We are using a web camera. We, it has inbuilt sensitive microphone and image sensor quality CMOS sensor and the image resolution interpolated to 25 megapixels with 6 light sensors. We are using a 12 volt acid lead battery for the power supply to the Raspberry Pi uh, and the motor driver. This is the motor driver of standard L293D and it acts as the interface between the motors and the control circuits to control the power supply to the DC motors. These are the pair of DC motors for our standard 130 type. Open VNC viewer and enter the IP address. Now enter the username and password which is set already. So this is the interface. Now we are going to open a file in which the python code is saved. This is the file. This is the sender's email ID from which an alerting email will be sent to the registered email ID when an unusual sound is detected by the sensor. And this is the receiver's email ID which can be changed and the message sent will be unusual sound detected. Down here we have the IP address which changes each time we connect to the Raspberry Pi. And now we save the file. Each time we have to update the IP address here as it changes every time to get the live recording through the web camera. So this is the user interface. Here we can control the movement of the robot with a 360 degree rotation. This is the movement in forward direction and to the right and now to the left and the movement in backward direction if any obstacle is found it takes a deviation in the path if any sound is detected in the surroundings an email is sent instantly to the registered email id this is the mail that we received from robotic vehicle it says unusual sound detected 